time now for NFL Face Off. I'm Ephraim Salam. I'm here with Gary Payton. Ha ha. And today we have a special, special treat. Uh, I'm excited about this. We got two offensive linemen on here. We have Jeff Schwartz with Kansas City Chiefs, and we have Mitchell Schwartz uh, for the Cleveland Browns. And how, are you, how are you guys doing? We're good. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. I'm doing great, man. It's good to see these big cheeks and jaws uh, on, on, on the big screen and not all these chiseled little quarterbacks and, and wide receivers and running backs. It was really uh, wonderful raising these two kids. As adults, you can see that they're oversized men, and they were big from the time they were born. Even if they're 6'6 <laughs> six, six and weigh over 300 pounds, yeah, they're still my babies. <laughs> so we grew up in a conservative household. We went to, um, you know, high holiday services. We learned uh, what it was to kind of be Jewish, be a mensch, give back. Yeah, I think the values are just, first and foremost, just be a good person. Um, you know, treat others the way you'd want to be treated. Um, you know, do things the right way. Um, be hardworking. Make sure if you make a commitment, you stick to it. First, I really didn't realize what it meant to kind of be a Jewish player in the NFL and what it meant to other people to have to look up to my brother and I. You see how much it uh, brightens people's days and, and um, they can look up to us and know that, um, you know, while they might not play football, they can make, you know, something great of themselves. Uh, High Lifeline came to us and through a contact of uh, my wife and, and said, might the boys be interested in this? And, and so I started to do some due diligence. And every bit of feedback I got was extraordinarily positive. You know, you see these kids at the camps and, and they're just, you know, one of the kids and, and they're having fun. And, uh, they're enjoying life and they get a new perspective on it. And you kind of realize that it's just, it's, it's something you want to be a part of. You just tell what they do is, is enriching and, and it may really make a difference. And for my brother and I and my family, uh, you want to be able to partner with organizations that really do make a difference. My goal for the dinner is to expose as many people as possible to the organization who maybe had not heard of it before, to understand the good work that it does. I think High Lifeline's inspirational uh, to a lot of families, to, you know, the, the way they're there for, for people in, in times of need and, and the way they step up when, when called upon. Um, you know, not or every organization is like that. Being able to, to, to use you know, kind of your, what you do as, as a platform to be able to, to help other kids, it's a, it was a no-brainer. The thing I'm most proud is not their accomplishments on the field and not what they've done otherwise. The fact is that who they are today is really no different than what they were when they were kids and their core values haven't changed and with everything that they've achieved and accomplished, it hasn't changed them. They're still mentions. They're still great people. Gentlemen, okay. I want to say congratulations to both of you guys. If you guys don't know, you guys are the first Jewish brothers to ever play in the NFL against, so, each, other. against each other. So I want to yep. say happy Hanukkah. There you go. And may the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> and the Schwartz be with you. Congratulations, <laughs> Thank you guys. guys. Thank you.